excited about what I have here. Today I'm going to look at one of the latest Red Dragon gaming keyboards. I already had their one-handed keyboard and their gaming mouse. And <clears throat> I told them I loved their products so far. And they sent me this keyboard to check out. So thank you Red Dragon for that. Let's check it out. Call this the Magic Wand Pro Mechanical Gaming Keyboard. And the uh, official product number for this one is... Let's see here. Where is it on here? Here it is. This one is... The Red Dragon K587 RGB Pro Optical Mechanical Keyboard. This keyboard came in two different types. There's the regular mechanical keyboard and optical. And they say the optical has 10 times faster uh, clicks. Let's take a look at some of the features. It has a 100 million click life. It's an ultra minimalistic 10 keyless design, which is what I need because I have the one handed keyboard already. A uh, solid steel frame with super slim design, scroll wheel control, macro keys for gaming, extra macro keys for lighting, addition in different gaming modes, optical switch for reliability and durability, portable design with detachable cable, so this is one of those that probably has the USB-C cable, which is something you see in uh, the new keyboards, gaming keyboards, you can attach uh, USB-C to it to connect and then detach it and take it with you. It has a detachable palm rest, which is always nice to have. RGB backlighting, game mode, 100% anti ghosting, and full N key, full N key rollover functionalities. All right, the interior box is a cool black dragon with a red eye on it. There we go. It's inside. You have to get all the paper and stuff off of it. This is what it looks like. It's all black. Spacebar has the cool red dragon on it. F keys have volume control. And at the top, you have macro keys. On the side, you have the other macro keys G1 to G5 on the side, G6 to G9, and record the top. Over here you have, it looks like more multimedia keys, if you didn't want to use the ones that are on the keys right there, and you have this scroll, this, you have a, looks like a Windows lock key, so you don't hit that by mistake while gaming, but that's about it for that, let's turn it around, you see there's no cable connected to this keyboard, it's the new USB-C port type keyboards, that's pretty cool. Plug that in, unplug it. You can see the switches. It has blue switches. Let's see how those look. And let's listen to what they sound like when you type. It should be nice and loud and clicky. You push down really fast. That's the type of sound you'll get out of the really clicky keyboard. Blue. That's what you to expect from that blue sound. Here's the USB-C cable that comes with it. <clears throat> so you'll connect it to your computer. And a little manual. English, Chinese, and other languages. You have... Customer service card, Red Dragon. You have a nice cool sticker. Put on your gaming case or wherever you want to put that red dragon. Now let's zoom here. You have the key puller and switch puller. You pull the keys out with this plastic one. You can pull the switches out with the metal one. So you can always change out the switches if they do mess up. It has 100 million clicks, but <clears throat> something happens. They do give you this as well. They actually give you blue, red, brown, and black, two of each switch. And lastly, it comes with this wrist rest. There's a cool texture on it, the red dragon. So the wrist rest has these magnets on it. Just like that, you hit click, 
so it magnetically attaches to the keyboard. That's what it'll look like look like with the wrist rest on it if you want to use that. Most people will want to use it because it's nice to have that on there for your hand to fit on correctly and feel comfortable. Alright, let's look in the manual a second. It supports uh, Windows XP up to Windows 10. And something cool about Red Dragon gaming products is they have a lot of the functions built into the hardware. So you don't even need any software. They do have software you can download which makes it easier to control macros and things like that. But it's clicking and you know doing it the regular way. But if you don't want to use software, it has this built into it. Here's the USB cable that comes with the keyboard. You just plug it in right here. Easy clicking. It's in. There you are. That side. It's plugged in. And you're ready to go. That's how easy it is to connect the USB cable to it. Okay, let's take a look at the bottom of the keyboard. You see it has these feet on here. There's rubber feet here if you just want to put it normally onto the keyboard flat. But if you're one of the people that like to angle the keyboard, you can pop the feet up at the top. The bottom has rubber feet for grip. Flip it over. Get the feet up. You can see it's a little angled. Keep it up from the side like that. See it's angled there now. Get this keyboard away. It's a little lifted off the, the table there. And you put the wrist rest next to it. Magnetically attaches, and there you have it. It's a nice angle, comfortable feel. And I'm gonna go upstairs, plug it in, and see how it works. Okay, got my new Red Dragon keyboard plugged in. This is how it looks by default. So it's lit up when you plug it in. There's the wrist rest. There's the sounds you're going to hear when you type on it. Nice and clicky. I have my other Red Dragon keyboard over here, the one-hander. It's a little different. I noticed right away on this one, the presses feel very like, quick, snappy. Snappier than any keyboard I've had. This optical blue switches that it has in it, they say that they're a lot quicker than anything else. When you depress them, you can tell. It's very fast. All right, something I noticed was the little scroll bar here. It's for volume by default. So when you do that, you see up here on the computer, the volume is going down and up when I scroll. That's with this right here. And if you touch this key right here, and then you use it, look at the lighting. It controls the brightness. So as you lower that and raise it, so that has two functions. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to take a look at the different lightings now. Okay, now I'm going to take a look at some of the lighting effects. And this is just through the hardware. You don't need any software for this. You hit FN and insert for the first one. You call that one the trial of light. So it just goes through all the different colors. Hit it again. Same thing. FN and insert the second time. That's going to be breathing effect. Yeah, it goes dimmer and then bright. Brightens up. Wait, let me hit the light for the next few effects. Okay, so that's the breathing effect there. The next one is going to be... Same thing again. Just says normally on. That's the normal default. Insert the third time. The next one will be with the home key over here in FN. And that just says see ripple graph so when you so this effect was ripple graph it ripples away from whatever key you hit next one this one would be called pass without a trace they call this 
So whatever keys you hit, light up. That's pretty cool. And stay on for a little bit, a couple seconds. That's a really cool effect right there. You can see how that looks. The next one is called Coastal. So this lights up the row that you hit the key in, the entire row. That looks. That's pretty cool. The next few effects are going to be with FN plus page up. That combo. And they call this one, look at that, looks like a wave. They call this one both ways. That's pretty cool, look at that. It's nice. Moving on, the next one is. Ah, look at that one. It comes out from the outside into the middle, does like a little circle. And goes back out again. That one's called uh, Surmount. Next one, FN. Last one with page up. That one's pretty cool too. That one's called Fast and the Furious. These effects are really nice. So the next ones are going to be using the delete key in FN. So here we go, FN and delete. And this one is called Go with the Stream. It's kind of like moving from left to right, I guess. You know, see it's bright and then it moves. Like with the stream. Next one's gonna be called Clouds Fly. Set FN and delete. Cut clouds fly. And then the final one with FN and delete. And this one here. Because the colors move down instead of side to side. This one's called winding paths. That's the final one with delete. The next one's going to be with the N key FN plus N. Here's the first one, and this one is called Flowers Blooming. So all the colors are just all different colors. Looks pretty sweet. Colors are all changing on each key. Next one will be called Snow Winter. This one right here, called Snow Winter. It's a really cool one. Lights jumping all around like that. It's actually called Snow Winter Jasmine. And the final one with end, FN end. This one is called Swift Action. All the colors changing up to down. All the colors are on at all times. And finally, the last ones are going to be with FN and page down. Let's see that. FN and page down. Right here. And that one is called Hurricane. Keys are lighting up diagonally back and forth call that hurricane effect I like that one okay the next one I find a page down again Oof. that one is called accumulate just like a solid color I guess on this one from what I see Call that one accumulate. 
And then the final one would be digital times, which would be FN, press page down for the final time. Let's see, FN, page down. And that's it, that one is digital times. So you see that's the 18 built-in uh, different lighting effects that you can activate with hardware. Now if you use the software, you can control it and there might be even more different lighting effects to the software, but that's all just to the hardware. You don't need to do anything. You just hit the keys like that. Okay, one thing I see here in the manual, when you have a solid color like this lighting effect that we saw, if you don't like that color, you can hit FN plus the right arrow, arrow key. You can see it changes the solid color. Just like that. And you edit it, changes it. That's pretty cool. And you can do all kinds of things like that. You can make the uh, direction of the lighting go a different direction by hitting FN plus a different arrow key when you have any of those effects up. You can change colors and you can customize every single key if you want as well with the FN keys. It's all in the manual. All in here it tells you how to do it. Alright, one more cool feature of the uh, keyboard. Let's take a look at this on the side. It has lighting on the side of the keyboard that you can also control on both sides. There's that. So that's awesome. I know you have all the lighting on the keys. But this is the first keyboard I've had that has lighting on the side, so it's really awesome. Taking a look at the wrist rest here, it's very comfortable. It's a nice hard plastic, but it feels good on your wrist. You know, it's not anything that's going to irritate your wrist. It's nice and smooth, it has this texture on it that will keep your hand nice and gripped where you want it. For gaming, you'd have your fingers here, hit that space bar, make the logo on there. Yeah, the wrist rest fits nicely on the desk, and I'm going to always keep that on there. I think most people will enjoy that on there. It makes you a lot more comfortable while gaming or typing. The keyboard measures a little bit over 15 inches wide. If you're wondering for your desk. And then from top to bottom, it's a little bit over eight. It's about eight and a almost eight and a half inches from top to bottom measurement right there. So you want to see how it's going to fit on your desk. That's with the uh, wrist rest there. Without the wrist rest, it's less. You could see on the measurement what it was up to. All right, if you want to use their software, come over to reddragonzone.com. Over on the right side, you click on Downloads. And then all you've got to do is, if you want your mouse, this is a keyboard, so it's on keyboards by default. You just go down here, scroll through. And for this keyboard, here it is, the K587 Pro. You click there. This pops up on the screen. You click to download it, and you install the software. Remember, you don't need the softwares. You can program all of the macros and lighting and everything through the hardware. If you do want the software, that's how you do it. This is what the software looks like for the keyboard. And you can go with your mouse and click on any of the keys here. And once you click them, you can set individual keys for each one, functions for each one. You can set different functions for all these keys up here for the macros. Over on the left side, there's lighting options, and you can set up the three profiles and set uh, different macros right here with this button. So that's the software. I'm not going to be using it right now, as I use the hardware to set mine, but that's the software that comes with it. All right, for comparison on the size, quickly, at the top is my new Red Dragon keyboard. I have this Techwear one. It's a Techwear 10 keyless. I replaced the caps with the white ones, but this is a really popular one. Uh, it's about the same size, you can see. The Techware does not come with a wrist rest though. I didn't like it as much. It also doesn't have the G keys for macros on the side. So I find that the uh, the Red Dragon, I prefer it. It has more gaming keys on it, like macros and stuff. And I like that it comes with the wrist rest. And I like also the, the snappiness of the keys on the Red Dragon. The key press feels a lot quicker. 
seems a lot better for gaming. So that's a quick comparison of two popular 10 keyless keyboards. If you plan on uh, removing the keycaps, putting on uh, white ones or any different types, all you do is put this little tool in here, push down, and you pull up. And you see the cap is easily removed. It has a little cross type keycaps on the bottom. And there's the switch inside, blue. It's really nice, really quick responsiveness on the keys. So that's how you do it. Just for comparison, here's the one-handed Red Dragon keyboard that I have. Listen to this, how the activation is on it. And then on this one, this one's running clicky, like click clacky. This one's just more like plastic hitting. Still nice. These are blue switches. And these are blue optical on this one. These activate so quickly, just barely tapping it. Really light. So there you go. Little comparison. To add to that comparison, this is a brown, different keyboard here, different brand. This is what brown sounded like. More like metallic sounding. And once again, the blue optical. I think they sound great. I like them best. I think it's pretty awesome now. I have the Red Dragon single handed keyboard here. I have this new 10 keyless Red Dragon keyboard. And I have my Red Dragon mouse to complete the trio of Red Dragon devices. There you go. I replaced all my regular name brand, I guess you could say, like Corsair and Logitech and Rocket, Razer, any of that stuff with Red Dragon, and I'm really impressed by their devices.